Hey guys, I'm coming on here to do a Frank Garcia haul and I'm gonna scan through it really fast because a lot of you guys already know what this stuff is. But I did go ahead and finally get the last piece to my crafty luggage goodies. And this was the pouch I was waiting for. So I'm super excited to have received this little cutie patootie to add. Now I'm done. My, my collection is complete. Okay. So you can put whatever little things you want in there. This little pocket here. This goes into the bigger pocket. And then there's pockets inside here as well. Love that, I love that this whole collection has a lot of pockets everywhere. And I don't remember what the price tag on this one was because I already ripped it off. So I got this, but don't worry guys. You know, I always have everything linked below. Okay, and you will see that I did get all of the doodle bugs and all of the doodle pop. I'm not gonna go through all of them, um, but I did grab two of each of every one of the doodle pops. So I'll show what I got the one because that would make no sense to show the two. And I know you guys have already got this. There's no way that you haven't already done this, but Frank does have the Doodlebug collection available at his studio. I was on it the, as soon as he got it. I didn't waste any time. How cute is that, guys? Oh my gosh. This is a sticker of their sprinkles. This is a sticker of a Doodle Pop. <laughs> <laughs> that was genius, okay? Whoever decided to come up with that was genuinely genius. And then this one right here. How cute are these guys? And then I got these sprinkles right here. And like I said, I will have everything linked below. Grabbed two of the, no, I grabbed one of each of these. Normally, I don't buy the sprinkles, guys. Normally, if I do, I'll buy one, but I never buy three. So I'm like, Doodle Bug want to charge all kinds of money for their sprinkles because <laughs> it ain't Frank. So you guys already know, wherever you go to get these, the price point is the same. It's no different if you purchase it at Frank's or somewhere else. It's just the point price point that they have at Doodle Bug. And for me, it's like, well, this, I could have got like, I don't know, three or four of these right? Slightly exaggerating, but whatever. So I was super pumped. You see, he put everything in a bag for me because I grabbed literally two of everything. Okay. And then I did pick up these super cute little itty bitty paper clips that he has in multiple of colors. And I'm so surprised I only grabbed one. That's probably because my cart, the stuff I had going on was already way too much. I also bought foam from him and I love this foam. It is three millimeter. He sells them for a dollar each. And I believe I grabbed five of them. Yeah, I grabbed five of them. This is like the perfect size for shakers. Um, and it's a nine by 12 piece, each of them. So he does sell these, grab those. And I did grab the extra large eyelets. I do love these, the size eyelet. So he does sell those, $3.49 each, which is a great price point, okay. Then I already showed these. It's just another one I got. And then of course I got the odds and ends. I got the chit chat. And these are $8.99. Doodlebug did go up on their pricing for their um, odds and ends, I noticed. And then I did grab the third. Every so often they come up with a third option. So this is the bits and pieces, the chit chat, and the odds and ends. So this right here is pretty much all your flowers and tags and stuff like that. So you can see right here. So I don't know if you guys jumped aboard and grabbed all of these, but you know what I did. So I grabbed those. I also got the mini icons. I had to have every piece of this collection, guys. It's crazy to have not. And you get three sheets. So that's a great price for that. And then I did get these right here, which are just the icons. And this is kind of like a cardstock sticker. So it's thick, not thin, and nor is it transparent. So had to have that. Then I grabbed one of these. This is the sugar-coated cardstock in these colors. And I believe it's one of each or two of each. I don't honestly know how many is it. It's a six by six, but I don't know how much is in here. But oops, it's $4.99. And there you go. Then I went ahead and got some of these super cute orange glitter pins or buttons. 
$2.49. I grabbed these pink glitter ones that are gorgeous, $2.49. I did grab two of these right here in these two colors, adorable. I did grab the six by six of the Cute and Crafty. That's how much that was. I also did grab, oops, this one right here because this is pink glitter and it's a Brad and I can't right now because that's adorable. Two nine. Then I also did grab, I like to grab these. I never used to grab them before, but now I do because these will always coordinate with all of their collections because they always stay within the same color palette, which I absolutely love that they do that. So I did grab that and it was $12.99. So you get one side that looks like this and then this is with the reverse side. These are each other's reverse sides. And I love it because it just breaks up the busyness of um, Doodlebug. And then of course I grabbed literally one of each 12 by 12 on top of the fact that I already got the 12 by 12 pack and I also grabbed the vellum look at that guys how cute is that and it's glittered so I did grab this it's called a sprinkles shaped vellum and I don't know the price point because he doesn't have it on there and then I also grabbed the pack because they don't really do paper pads in their 12 by 12 so you kind of have to grab the packs or buy them individually so I did pick up literally the whole collection. Then um, if you guys were able to get on the sale, he had a sale where a lot of his Sizzix stars were only 10 bucks. So I did get to this, he doesn't have this any longer. I was able to get this in that heat of a sale where everything pretty much sold out. So, and I love getting these kind of, look at how much it was. It was $29.99 $29 for 10 bucks. So I had to have it. I love stuff like this. Um, Cause this goes through everything and I use my big shot and I also grabbed these guys oh my gosh I am such a button fanatic look at that and I love it because it has a lot of small buttons not just big buttons and I'm in no no shortage of buttons I'll promise you that but I couldn't resist $5.99 look at that you get a billion buttons I am okay with that so I grabbed that then I had previously I didn't purchase this this time I previously purchased this one um, and I've showed it in a previous video, so I did get this one and I just wanted to show you how it looks when it's cut out So I did it in the tan and I did not bend it, but how cute is that? And then I also did it in the darker brown So cute because it's cool because you die cut that out the pieces that come out here You can put on here when you die cut this the little pieces that come out here you put on this one so and then this is this is me quickly Sorry for the airplanes, guys. I live right across the street from an airport. So I um, put it, and this is a Target gift card. So you see how it wraps around. I quickly did it. You know, if I hadn't taken my time, it wouldn't have looked like this around that. Now, this you would definitely put a um, removable um, uh, glue dot so that it does that see this one I didn't care so I just I put on like just so you guys could see how it sticks to it like the tiniest of hot glue but I just wanted to show you how you can um, how it holds on to it perfectly so don't do what I did don't ever do that <laughs> I just wanted to quickly come on here to show you that so yeah so that's all I did I just wanted to show you how this looks when you cut it out and the size of this little cutie patootie bear that he does have at the store is um, four and a half inches tall okay and it's three inches wide and we're not going to include these arms because that's what's going to hug the actual gift card so it's five inches wide from arm to arm to wrap around the card but this is a really good size um, gift card holder very very cute or an in, in invite card whichever or then i got this right here a uh, flipping adorable, this guy right here. So what I did do, oops, this way, I put it upside down because I've already played with it, is this right here, I tried to see if I could run matte board through it and you can't do matte board because the folds on this, let me show you how it looks. So I did this with one 10 pound basil. Basil is the best cardstock to mankind. And cause it does not um, rip, it doesn't, uh, apart at all it's very sturdy 
and I love that I layered it and I put it up on pop dots. I just grabbed what I had available and put this together to make it look like this. So you can take that off and just keep it a slice if you want. But see, on the inside, it folds in. So it creates stability all along the perimeter. So it's not just one cut when you fold it over. And then like this one right here, you see, it doesn't fold over. But this is basil, so it's pretty thick. But the lid is double. And it, guys, it's so easy to use. And it's, you can knock these out. I was thinking, oh my gosh, how cool would that be to just make a full cake of all these little ice cream cones. How adorable would that be? So that is what this one looks like. Then I also got this right here, which is honeybee. And if you guys follow Jennifer McGuire, who is absolutely insane amazing, she shows some beautiful cards um, using this die. So I had to have it. And if you guys stay tuned for just two seconds, like this, I'm gonna click on and you're gonna see what I made with these. All right, so stay tuned guys. Hey guys, all right, so I did the first haul part, I think a couple days ago. Now I'm jumping in to show you the cards that was made with this die that I absolutely love. Okay, so I love the layering stamps, but I also love this is layering dies. So this right here is absolutely amazing. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start investing on the other, this price tag on that. It's Honeybee. There are videos sh of inspiration showing how um, to do these and get ideas. And this is what I did. So this right here is a slimline, it's a shaker. This is the tonic shaker pockets that Frank sells at his studio. That, and that's where I got it. And also too, the little ladybugs in there is part of a sprinkles package. There's of course I got it at Frank's. And here is the flower. And this is the freaking cutest thing ever. Now, let me tell you, you have options. You can um, get like, um, you know, when you go to Michael's and you buy the recollection paper pads, it has different shades of a pink. Since there is four layers to this flower right here, you can do four different colors and layer them and be done. I chose to do the inking way, which is amazing. So I grabbed my ink pads that are from Stamp Market. And literally, I just did three different shades and then you're gonna see the difference. This right here, I used um, Nina cardstock, which you would use for Copic coloring. It holds the ink a lot better. So if you're gonna do it where you're using the inks, make sure you use a good one that's gonna hold the ink and not show the streaks in it. So um, I did that and I used four different inks on here. Now, Frank does not have those inks anymore. Um, he doesn't have these anymore but this is what I used okay so it has four different colors and then that's how I built that and I loved it I enjoyed doing that and also too with the leaves same thing and you'll see that one flower came out a little darker. It's almost impossible to make them exactly the same. So um, that's what I did. And then this right here, Frank also sells at his store. It's super heavyweight. It's about 110 cardstock. He has this in white, pink, and red. I do own all three of them. And then the inside, I just layered with um, a colored cardstock that I used on the edges. So I used my Martha Stewart Edge Punch. And what I did is I did it off the page. So you'll see right here, I um, you can see it's hanging over the edge. This is three. This shaker pocket is three and a half by eight inches long. So I did the card base at three and a half, or um, actually what seven inches by eight, so I could fold it in half. And then the top part, I just added this so it would hang over. So I thought that would be super fun. And then I just had these stickers right here and I just layered them on cardstock. I hand cut these stems because, um, is it Jennifer McGuire? I believe that's her name. Love watching her, she's an amazing crafter. She did this type of style and just showed how you just can freehand a stem because it doesn't come with a stem. So I thought it was super fun. I love, love these shaker pockets. I showed the tutorial on how to, um, to best do them. Um, so that's easy. So that was that. Then I went ahead and did these little cards right here. I do not have any sentiments on them because until I use them, I don't want to put anything on them. But I went ahead and layered 
because it's wide right here, I did the card base at three and a half inches wide, but then it's still six inches. So it'd still be a three by three card, except one of the directions is three and a half. And I just layered it with some matte gold cardstock. And this is um, Buenos Dias, some leftover scraps I had. And then I layered it. And then this right here, you don't even notice the difference. Like if you see them, I used pink cardstock, a super light pink cardstock. And then I used um, the ink to color it in. All I did was use the darkest and the lightest, and I just blended them together. And that was it. This right here is just some leftover green cardstock that I had, and I used it for the leaves, so I didn't do any inking on that. And then this is on one 10 pound basil cardstock. Here is the next one. I love it. Again, this is Buenos Dias. I just went through my scraps. I didn't want to cut into new sheets. And you'll see they're all layered on pop dots. Every layer is lifted. Now you can even go ahead of that and curl the leaves up on each one of them so you can make it even more dimensional. Super cute. And then the last one I did was this one right here. And I have all these ink colors, so I grabbed a blue ink out of my Stamp Market colors that went with this blue cardstock. I used yellow cardstock on this. I only used one color ink to blend it in, and it was like an orangish color. And then blue cardstock. So it's all the same color. I ran all four dies, or actually it's five dies, including this top part because it's also dimensional. It was, um, and they're all lifted on pop dots. You see, look how many pop dots I used. And then this one right here is also layered up. I like things dimensional. So this was a lot of fun. So this right here is using colored cardstock to do the layers, all the same color, and then just ink in the center of each one of them. And that's it. You don't even have to do all the extra, or you can just get four different colors of cardstock and layer them and be done and not do any inking. Some girls I've seen use Copic. I love the inking process of it. So this was a lot of fun. So I just wanted to jump on here really fast and show you how these beautiful dies come out when you make cards. So that's it. I will have all the information below to shop for any of the stuff that I showed you on my video. Have an amazing and blessed 4th July, guys. Bye.